Whenever people talk about the most powerful devil first in One Piece, it always goes back to the Yami Yami no Mi, the Gora Gora no Mi, and recently with the revelation involving Who Tu and the Gamu Gamu no Mi, oftentimes, as I said, the Gamu Gamu no Mi. There's a lot of fruit to get thrown in there. Some people even bring up the Mara Mara no Mi, the Magi Magi no Mi, the Opi Opi no Mi, of course, it's unbelievably powerful. But I would like to propose a devil fruit that has the potential to possibly be the most powerful devil fruit in terms of how broken it could be. But not really because of its raw power. Honestly, this fruit isn't very impressive in raw power or tactical application. However, this devil fruit could be the only devil fruit that allows this user to swim underwater. For those that haven't caught on, I am talking about the Awa Awa no Mi, or the Soap Soap Fruit belonging to Khalifa of CP9. Or maybe CP0 now? I don't actually remember if we know what's up with Khalifa right now in the story, but I was re-watching a bit and rereading a bit of Nami vs. Khalifa for the purposes of another video that I'll be doing in the near future, at least in terms of recording the audio for it in the near future, and I realized that Khalifa could potentially be able to swim because she had the ability to manipulate soap and create bubbles. Bubbles are a big part of the soap soap fruit. Now, if she was able to control the type of bubbles she was producing with her soap, I'd like to throw out the idea that what if Khalifa was able to produce the bubble from Stavodi Acapelago? Now, you may be thinking, why does that matter? Well, if you'll remember, the bubbles that you see on Stavodi Acapelago are the same bubbles used to coat ships these are the bubbles that really coated the Thousand Sunny with when they traveled down to Fifth Man Island. It's what allowed the Sunny to literally maneuver underwater and what allowed the Straw Hats to make it to Fifth Man Island. If Khalifa is able to control the kind of soap she produces and the kind of bubbles she produces, she could, in potential theory, create the bubbles used in the coating. If she could produce these bubbles, would anything be stopping her from coating her own body with these bubbles and then being able to maneuver underwater? While this obviously wouldn't give her enough raw power to like compete with Bagora Gora no Mi or Bagamu Gamu no Mi or Banara Mara no Mi or Magu Magu no Mi or Pio no Mi or any of the other billions of incredibly powerful devil fruits in the series, the rare fruits that are sought after by the entire world, even the Yami Yami no Mi, it would make her the only devil fruit user able to swim. This would in fact make her a little bit like Blackbeard, who is the only person able to hold two devil fruits. Because while having two devil fruits is awesome, and I would love to know how Blackbeard is able to do it, if you switched out the Yami Yami no Mi and Magora Gora no Mi for two crappier devil fruits, it would still be incredibly broken, but it wouldn't let you compete with the Goro Goro no Mi. For example, somebody with the Jacket Jacket Fruit and the Rust Rust Fruit wouldn't be that impressive. It would obviously not be their combative ability that made them broken. Even though they had two Devil Fruits and that's incredibly broken, it wouldn't be the combat part. It would be the fact that they're just defying the rules of Devil Fruits entirely. They're straight up bypassing the rules of the universe. This would be the same thing Khalifa would be doing. Even though she wouldn't be able to, say, fight Whitebeard, she could still do the one thing Whitebeard could never do throughout most of his life. Swim. Just like if you had two really crappy devil fruits, you would still be considered ridiculously broken for bypassing the laws of the universe, but you wouldn't be considered automatically one of the strongest characters in the theory. Blackbeard is elevated to that status because he has the Yami Yami no Mi and Magora Gora no Mi, one of which was held by Whitebeard, and would consider to give him the power to be able to destroy the planet. And I think it's easy to ignore things like that. Things that certain characters can do that are incredibly broken without being incredibly powerful. I think another great example of this is Nami. Nami may not be incredibly powerful, but the things she can do with the climb attack are actually, like, universe changing. Like, if she mass produced that technology or used it for, like, good instead of combat, the good she could accomplish with that, the disaster Nami could avert. If Nami was a marine and had her climb attack, she would be saving millions of lives across the One Peak world 
from natural disaster. Because in theory, Nami could probably alter the weather with the climate attack if she had the resources or the drive to do so. Nami has one of the most broken pieces of technology. People often joke that she should be called the weather witch because the climate attack is at this point basically not even technology anymore. It's basically magic. And I think it's easy to forget how broken that is. How absurd something like the climate attack is. Then you look at Nami and she's having trouble beating Ulti. And Luffy currently fighting Kaido. Like, you're looking at it and like the gap in power just between Nami and Luffy is so big. That it's very easy to forget just how ridiculous the thing she's doing is. I think this would be a case like that. No matter what Khalifa does with her Devil Fruit, I don't think her Devil Fruit alone will ever let her put Judge out of the top five stronger characters in the series. Judge is just always going to be number five and above Khalifa. And I think I've noticed that a lot of people tend to not focus on these things. As I was talking about earlier with Nami, a lot of people ignore just how busted the climate attack is inside any other field. How revolutionary it is, and how much this technology could change the world if Nami wanted to use it to help people. Though, we know as fans, Nami's not interested in that. She wants to make Luffy Pirate King and draw a map of the world, get drunk and get rich. And maybe help some small children along the way. But the point is, I really wanted to make this video because I, w I think it's interesting how we as fans tend to look past a lot of the weaker character stuff. I mean, we get swept up in Luffy versus Kaido and stuff like that. It's very easy to get lost in the power scaling and the cool lore tidbit, especially as we approach the end of the series and start entering into endgame territory where we're really starting to talk about who Joy Boy is, who the strongest people are, how we're gonna beat Blackbeard, what One Piece is. It's easy to get swept up in all that and forget that Nami and Punk Hazard made a milky road of clouds that you can walk on. Or that she can create rain at this point. Nami could probably, if she wanted to on a grand scale, create enough rain to solve drought problem. If she mass produced the climate attack. I mean, so many things could be done. And I brought up Khalifa in the beginning of the video just as kind of an example of how we kind of can ignore the possibilities that come with some weaker character's fruit or the technology they wield in battle in favor of being like, let's talk about Kaido more. So yeah, I kind of just wanted to throw out an idea about how the Awa Awa no Mi could be one of the most broken Della Fruits in all of existence because it could, in theory, allow you to swim. But this is all just me having fun. I don't normally do videos like this that are just me spitballing into the microphone and theorizing, but I really kind of wanted to because I just felt like this was such a fascinating concept, how Khalifa of all people could have the one devil fruit that lets you swim, and I kind of just wanted to talk about it. But guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. If you want to get more anime discussions like One Piece, Naruto, My Hero Academia, then you're going to want to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so you can make sure you always get an update whenever I upload, also, you can follow me on Twitter and Twitch in the description box down below. And if you want to help out the channel in any way, you can also donate to my PayPal, which is linked in the description as well. But above all else, guys, I want you to have a great day, and now I'll be on my way.